the videos up. Let's take a look and see how we did. All right, homepage here. Let's see. 111 freaking subscribers. <laughs> Hang on, what? 380 views. Looks like we made it. Let the oh, yes, we did it. A viral YouTube sensation. Call work. Moving on up. Yeah, hello, boss at my work. Uh, uh, you smell. Uh, uh, ah! Got him. Um, I I hate my job. I'm I'm a viral YouTube sensation. Suck on my butt. Yes. What's poppin', Fit Fam? The support has been crazy. There's been so many comments showing support, and you guys have been asking so many questions. Yo, where's part two? Why don't you do this for your job? You are you wearing pants in the video? So I set a goal. I said, well, let's see if we can hit 100 subs, then I'll post number two. And it happened within 24 hours, and the video's got like 400 views. Has it been incredible? Like, it's this kind of support that not only does it make me want to keep making YouTube videos, but it makes me want to get this weight off and be healthy and try and inspire other people. And that's, that's huge. I feel like that's my purpose in this life. I've, I've been kind of away from it a while. I haven't quite been myself, but you guys have helped me realize my, my potential. And that's, that's something I can't, I can't thank you guys enough for. But enough of the mushy stuff. We came down here for part two. That's right, boys and girls. Number five through one as to why being overweight sucks. Why I've struggled with it. Some of the things that I've had to face. It sounds like a lot of you guys were able to relate with the first five. So I'm sure there'll be some on this one. These I saved the best ones for last. From the bottom of my heart, you guys. Thank you again for tuning in. If you're new here, take a second for me. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of my storytelling on there so you guys can stay up to date on what's going on. But uh, without further ado, let's get it. Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Number five. I have never swam without a shirt on. And that's been since I was a little kid. Even we had the privacy of our own pool. Even in front of my own family. I just, I have never had the self-confidence in myself or in my body to swim without a shirt on it's never happened in fact most lifeguards i'm sure just assume that because i'm fully clothed that i'm just drowning tons of fun you good you're fully clothed yeah sorry uh just fat uh i, I have man boobs and even more embarrassing about having to wear a shirt is when you have to slurp the shirt away from your wet skin so it doesn't just accentuate all of your fat rolls and it's just that... <laughs> yeah, try doing that in front of the girl you have a crush on. <sighs> Number four. I avoid going to the doctor. It, it's, it always becomes a conversation about my weight. And they always use terms that just make me feel dead inside. Like the term morbidly obese, if translated in my head, dead fat. That's what that means. So I don't go. I don't like to go. I could go in, say for example, somebody shot me in the face. Oh my god, there's so much blood. <laughs> Doc! Not blood tubby. It's gravy. <laughs> it's not that bad. But to, to prove a point, when I went for the job that I have now, I went to have some blood work done, and I've been avoiding that for so long. The last time I had a shot that was pertinent to my health was when I was in the third grade. Number three, stairs. And no, I'm not talking about the inventions of stairs that, you know, you walk up to get to another floor. I'm talking about myself having to take the stairs if anybody is around me. It's the most embarrassing thing. I literally will be sucking oxygen as though the room is about to run out of it. <laughs> and this is where it gets real. Number two. I hate looking at old photos, and I hate being in pictures. And yeah, I, I use the word hate, and I recognize that that's a strong word, but majority of the pictures that I'm in, I, I wish I was out of, or I wish I would have had the, ch the chance to pull or adjust my shirt. And, and beyond that, I don't like looking at them, because I have these beautiful pictures from when my, my daughters were first born, or when I was on stage, you know, performing at Warp Tour, 
and the first thing that I think of is how terrible I look. And I suppose it's part of the, the mental weight that I carry along with the physical weight, but I just, no joke here, no punchline. I, I don't like being in pictures and I don't like looking at pictures from the past. <sighs> Number one, uh, and this one's going to be hard to talk about. I don't know that I've ever, I've ever put, uh, this out into the world before, um, Number one is how much of my identity is uh, rooted in me being a fat person. There's a part of me that, uh, that thinks if I lose the weight, I, I won't be funny anymore, or that my friends won't like me. See, when you're growing up, it's just, you know, you got a little extra weight. Um, and then I played football, so I was just big. And then I put so much of who I am in to being the funny fat guy. And uh, after a while, I just stopped being funny. Uh... I struggle with this one a lot because after you, you you get teased for so long and after you get made fun of and, and even your close friends you catch some of them you know partaking in a joke at, at your expense you just you you find other ways to process it mine's mine's making jokes it's it's untimely jokes it's it's uh trying to make it funny because otherwise reality sets in and it's yeah you are over 500 pounds. You're morbidly obese. This could kill you. I know at times it's hard to feel Like you're within the pain at all I know the hurdles seem so big And so if you've ever felt that I'm telling this story for you. I want you to know that there's hope. I want you to know that you can change. I want you to know that you're not feeling these feelings alone. And that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to, to, to hurt sometimes. You don't have to put on a face for everybody else. I realize this has been a roller coaster for you guys. It has been for me as well. Um, I allowed my mind to go to some places I haven't been in a long time. Forgive the laughter during uncomfortable times. It's, it really is just a default mechanism for me. Um, but I, I sincerely appreciate the love that you guys have shown me in this process and in getting started again. And uh, for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know that I've lost over 200 pounds before and I put it all back on. Which, you know, everybody's like, oh, the good news is you know how to do it. And for me, it just it took away from my overall value. And uh, I've been struggling a lot. But I have to make a change. And, and the best way for me to do that is to surround myself with the people that love me. And I'm, I really am, from the bottom of my heart, I'm truly grateful for the support you guys have shown me. And I'm, I'm looking to make some changes in my life to prove to myself, to prove to all of you that I do have what it takes and and show myself for the first time ever what me at my best potential has. And uh, so again, I know I've said it a few times, but sincerely, I'm so grateful for you guys and your willingness to be a part of this journey with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, tune in for the next one. Uh, they're not all gonna end this sad, I promise. I've got some funny skits lined up and some talking more about my past and some things that have been going on. But uh, stay tuned. Again, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you again for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.